Welcome to another brand new day. I just drove the car onto the bricks right there. So for today, as you guys can tell from today's video, we are going to try and remove the catalytic converter by completely drilling it out. So yeah, and it shouldn't throw any check engine lights. Let's just jack up the car and see what we're looking at. Now, for all you guys that normally roast me about no jack stands, there's jack stands on the car, so leave me alone. So here we have the custom exhaust I have made. Right before the resonator, I put in a flange going to the rest of the exhaust. Single straight pipe, baby. So, moving up here, we have our catalytic converter up there. So what we're gonna need to do, undo those bolts, take off this shielding, apparently. I didn't know that I had to take off shielding. But I guess first things first, let's take off the shielding and see what we're looking at. Okay guys, next thing, we need to undo this right here. These are the flanges, just to kind of go from there. I think it's probably a 14, so we're gonna try a 14 first. Don't really know. Here's a 14. Aha, I still have the touch. Finally. Now let's undo these two. Good, just to show you guys what's in there. So you see the catalytic converter. So you have your catalytic converter in there. Basically, the O2 sensor, I can't really show you guys, but the O2 sensor, it looks like there's one level of catalytic, and then there's an O2 sensor, and then there's another layer of catalytic. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try taking the drill, drilling out the bottom catalyst, and see if that works. Hopefully it will though. Starting off kind of slow. I got this really long attachment. I think it's for drywall or something. So let's try this one first One eternity later Okay guys I'm sorry. It's been a while. I've literally been slaving away at this for like five hours now, but I'll show you guys Look at that that all of that stuff came out that's a lot of stuff guys basically what I found out was that there was actually two levels of catalytic converters there's one and then the second O2 sensor the one that's after that catalytic converter and then a second one so I drilled out the entire bottom one therefore I'm still able to pass smog and it's 50% louder and it should also increase slightly um, some boost because the up pipe is underneath that so basically um, it's the turbo back pipe technically so it should therefore restrict it less not enough to where it should require tuning but it should be faster in the higher rpms because it's less restrictive so that is all good now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to turn it on just kind of clear out the pipe and then we'll put the exhaust back together oh man that is such a long long project if it's attached to the car. I probably could have done it faster if I had removed it, but you know, I didn't want to do that. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh. Just removing the second catalytic converter made it so much louder. I did it earlier with the second catalytic converter in. That's loud. I'm excited, guys. The startups are going to be so good, and it's free, and it's legal, mostly. Guys, woo! I think I just found the holy grail of exhausts. Let's pull this ba exhaust back on and sweep up and clean up, because that sounded amazing. It crackles, it pops. Let's get this back together. Look at that, guys. So basically, this type is a metallic one. Normally, they're ceramic, but it's metal in the Alfa Romeo, which is very interesting. So the reason why they do this versus the other one is that in smaller applications, these are more effective. They're cheaper when you're doing a little bit, but when you're doing a ceramic catalytic converter, those are in more wide production cars, but in sports cars, they normally put this. 
So that's interesting that they put this on the Alfa Romeo. So, guys, I'm so pumped. Let's get this exhaust back on together. Everything's put together. Let's do an exhaust start now. I'm fine, guys. Okay, exhaust start up. First time. Now this is the first time with the exhaust on. Guys, that is insane. Okay guys, it's the next morning. I want to show you guys another cold start. So here we go. We have the Alfa Romeo right here. Day, there's a new video posted. That is absolutely insane. shift right over into dynamic. Now that I'm in dynamic mode, everything is gonna shift higher, which is gonna make it in turn a lot louder. I like the automatic shifts in this car. It shifts actually like perfect and it still has that snapping shift. Um, that's the ZH transmission with this car, which 
I love the ZH transmission. I hope that it's as good as they say it is and that it's not going to give me any problems ever, but yeah. Like, watch. Just constant throttle. It just... Da, 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 da. You know, that's you kind of hear that same sort of thing on motorcycles when they don't use the clutch and they do clutchless shifting. So it's the same exact response with this car, which is why I think I like it so much because I used to have a motorcycle. I think this car is like the loudest Alfa Romeo 2.0 turbo at least. Not necessarily the 2.9 or the, you know, the 6 liter, which is basically based off of the Ferrari engine and the Quadrifoglio. But I have to say this has to be the loudest 2.0 turbo. It's not even tuned, and this car sounds ridiculous. I know that you can get tunes for like $1,000, and those will crackle and pop, and it'll sound insane. But right now, I guess I just have to deal with the loudest, not necessarily the best sounding 2.0 turbo. Woo! I love NOS. I think we should, guys, we should do a little tunnel run. I know everyone else agrees. Okay guys, here we're coming up at the tunnel. Air conditioning off. Downshift, downshift, downshift. Ready? like today's video please make sure to like comment and subscribe guys all right guys without further ado i will see you guys tomorrow in the next one love love to say i guess it's time to end it too many thoughts on my mind i can't sleep at night so i just keep writing i don't need no help i don't need opinion so don't waste my time then i just been living online my city don't show me no love and that's fine my local radio stations i got more plays than all of these rappers combined i'm going i'm going again i've been going in i'm fed up with so many things i gotta just let it all out i'm talking about the shit they've been talking about telling me i should do this